Okay, so basically I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to hook up a hardware synth. Um, now, there's a lot of stuff you're not going to see in this tutorial, uh, especially because it's outside the computer and I'm only recording this uh, desktop here, but um, basically what I did, uh, I'm using the Waldorf Blofeld right now. Uh, all I had to do was hook up the power cable, the USB, and the left and right stereo outs, and I actually did that through what's called a line link cable, which is a direct quarter inch uh, mono cable. Uh, to USB plug, which really works quite well. Uh, I recommend if you have a hardware synth, uh, go out and buy it. Um, it's very nice, even though you can actually have a little bit of noise, probably from the endpoint, but that can uh, easily be uh, drowned out with noise gate. So anyway, um, I just opened up FL Studio. This is an FL Studio centric tutorial, by the way. I mean, I know the Steinberg logo is here and all that, and I do have Cubase, and I'm a big fan of it, but um, uh, this is actually for uh, IL user fifth grade who uh, requested this tutorial in FL Studio. So I'm just gonna open that really quick. And of course it just popped up here, so what I'm going to do is actually, I can't really show you at this point, but hold on a second. Okay, so up here in this options bar here, uh, you'll notice that if I click on there, there's a thing called MIDI settings. All i got to do is go into these MIDI settings here, and um, uh, if you can't see your device in here, like um, uh, your uh, Blofeld or whatever, your hardware synthesizer, you can just hit rescan MIDI devices, and bam, it'll instantly pop up again. Uh, now, also, the other thing is if you're using a um, MIDI-only device uh, with only MIDI ports and no USB to PC, you're actually going to have to um, buy a USB to MIDI uh, adapter. Well, it's usually like a cable or something, or but it's basically a MIDI interface for USB. So where it's going to show up, it's actually going to come up right here as your uh, interface. You just plug the... Um, the MIDI out into there and it'll make the sound and then you can plug the line link into the left stereo and right stereo. So come up here, um, notice it's here, I actually have to set a port number for this. Uh, right now it's on zero, it's actually like this when you first start off so you won't see anything. So now I'm just going to take it up to zero and uh, the input you want to make sure that's disabled. Um, unless of course the device has a keyboard you're using through your DAW. Um, in this case, the Blofeld desktop unit does not. I can actually plug in an Axiom keyboard, which will do slightly the same thing. So, okay, so anyway, I'm just going to hit Escape now that I know these are all set up. I wouldn't worry about these down here unless um, and you can change them up if you want, but I'd read your synth hardware manual first. Okay, so we get on here, basically a sampler channel. Uh, you want to delete that? Actually, no, not delete it. Replace it with a, a MIDI out channel. Uh, it showed up outside the window here. All right, so right here. And port number, you want to be zero. Since that's a port, we set the uh, output channel, the MIDI channel, to uh, the Blofeld. And then basically, you can play around with it. Um, I notice I'm getting MIDI signal, uh, but the problem is no sound. So basically, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go into the mixer channel. And this is the mixer window, of course, FL96, very nice. Uh, this in part here, um, I actually have the line link cable right there. I just need to select that. And you'll notice there's just a little sound input at the bottom. That's actually some noise. Um, if you don't get this, uh, what you have to do is you have to go to, um, let's bring it up here just a little. Uh, I believe it's audio settings. Here we go. And I assume you're using ASIO for all. If not, you should be using that. Uh, show ASIO panel. Here's the AZ panel right here. Uh, you need to have this uh, selected on uh, if that should concern you at all. This is uh, just the device that will go into FL Studio. So just make sure that's selected. And then, of course, once it's all good, you should be able to load it up in here. Get a little white noise, not to worry. Uh, go into parametric EQ. Odd. Okay, so <laughs> you saw parametric EQ, right? You see this little band of frequencies at the bottom, which is causing all your a lot of the static in there. You can actually take that off using the 20 kilo, uh, 20 hertz, 18 kilohertz cut. Do that. You'll instantly notice in the bar that there is nada. There should be no sound coming in. Uh, also, if you feel so inclined, you can add a noise gate to this. Uh, just go to the fruity limiter, uh, the compressor, 
of course if you want to you can use a limiter as well but you know it doesn't matter what mode you're in since you're interested in these controls just set the gain all the way down set the threshold uh, you just want it s very slightly there since that isn't really much noise you see it's just a little bit orange and set the release as far up and as down as you want so anyway that's basically the end of a tutorial uh, hope you learned something uh, see you later guys